This is the ch sound. Keep watching to find out how it's pronounced in British English. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. Before we start, remember to like this video if you find it useful and subscribe for more British English pronunciation lessons in the future. Now let's look at the ch sound in a bit more detail. Do you remember the sh sound which we looked at previously? The ch sound is produced in a similar way. So first produce the sh sound. Now do it again, but this time block the flow of air with your tongue first. Ch, ch. Well done, you just produced the ch sound. This sound is produced by blocking the flow of air with the tip, blade and front of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge then releasing it slowly so that it produces friction. This gives the sound its technical name, the voiceless palatoalveolar affricate. Obviously, in real conversation, we don't produce the sh sound first, but you can use this trick to find the correct mouth position. So try and remember the mouth position and produce the sound again. Now, look at these words. Can you identify the ch sound? Listen and see if you can hear it. Church. Kitchen. Center. Future. Choir. Cello. Turtle. Action. The ch sound is usually spelt with the letters ch, tch and t. It can also be spelt with the letter c in Italian loanwords such as cello. Remember that these letters may produce other sounds in other words. The ch sound may be confused with the t sound in minimal pairs such as catch cat, each, eat, chest, test, chew, two, watch, what. Remember to block the flow of air behind the alveolar ridge and slowly release your tongue when you produce the ch sound to avoid confusing it with the t sound in these minimal pairs. Now let's practice. Listen and repeat after me. Chicken and chips for lunch. A cultural adventure in China. The coach watched the match. Christian churches are spiritual. Intellectual literature is challenging. When the t sound is followed by the r sound, it's replaced with the ch sound. However, it's not usually transcribed in dictionaries. For example, train, try, tree. I recommend you watch my previous video on affrication for more information about this process. Well, that's the end of the lesson, but can you use the ch sound in a sentence? Leave me some examples in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.